Hey everybody, uh, today's Fix Friday. I was trying to fix play Friday. So I'm trying to figure out which fix plays to do. So what I thought I'd do, this is going to be kind of like boring to some of you. I'm just going to go through and, and show you some of my favorite fix plays from different brands. And then later on, I'll cut it all back to just showing just a couple in shorts. But that's right there. That's one of my knife chests. Okay. I have a, a smaller one in my closet and I got one out in my shop. But right here is uh, mainly collectibles. Uh, the ones I don't, you know, use. I do have a tops drawer there that uh, I use those out in the playground. I also carry those. But uh, I'll get started here. Just kind of follow with me. This is rough. This is a rough video. We're going to raise this thing back up. Like so. Try to get y'all a little better view. I think that's how it works. Uh, wow. That was easy. Now. <clears throat> Ooh, that wore me out. Okay. I'm going to go through these just like real quick. As far as sock, there's no doubt about it that this baby right here is my all-time favorite. Okay? This is the... I told you it's going to be a rough video. Take this out carefully out on my display. And this, my friends, is the SOG Forge. Okay. The sheath, each one has a different pattern. We sh I've showed you that before. There's no two sheaths alike. This is Seki Japan, folks. That's forged hammered steel. This is just uh, one of the best knives that SOG ever came out with. It really is. It's that San Mai Steel. Seki Japan. Just a fantastic knife. So, that is my all-time favorite collectible, too. That's why I keep it in this glass display. And, bear with me. I'll have to put that back now. Now, real quickly, this is not in particular order right here. Well, let's not forget about the SOG buoy, Super buoy. This thing's a mammoth. Now, I'm going to do a video today showing this and the SOG Vulcan, which I'll pull that out. And that's for Frank on, on uh, What's the Point? You got to check uh, check out his channel. Uh, just a very enthusiastic guy. And when he asks, uh, when he requests me to show him something, I'm going to do it. Because that's what kind of guy he is. And I'll put his link down below so you can subscribe to him. His name's Frank. And he asked me to put this up against, I think I'm right. I think that's what he asked. Against the, the Vulcan. It's the SOG Vulcan. So, I'll show these two. He likes the longer videos. I don't blame him. Uh, a little bit longer than the shorts. So, I can do a little bit better detail. That's the SOG Vulcan. But, y'all remember a couple of weeks ago. Now, a lot of these knives you can find on OnlySOG.com. I'm going to throw that out there. I'll put his link down below. He's selling them right now. He's opened up his inventory. He's got the largest inventory of SOG knives I know of and best information. I got this from him a couple of weeks ago. This is the X42 Recondo. And I'm now putting this as probably my number one choice in self-defense knife. I'm still thinking about getting another one uh, for that reason and use it. But right now, this is a collectible. It's hard to come by. And I emailed him. He helped you out just tremendously. I emailed him about what did he think about me getting one to actually use. And he says, he, he told me these are highly collectible, you know. But once they're out of his hands, he says, I can't tell you what to do with it. So 
He knows I use my knives. There's some I don't. That's the X42 Recondo. Fantastic knife. So, with that said, that's probably what I'll, I'll stop at that on my socks. Because I got a whole drawer here. The whole top drawer. I mean, it's full of collectible socks. You know what I'm saying? Like this Kiku fixed blade. Okay? So, I could spend all day... I could spend 20 minutes, 30 minute video with just this top drawer of fixed plates on socks. But I want to get into this right here. Tops knives. These are my top favorites. This right here. Yeah, I use it. This is the Mission Team 21 by Tops. Okay, this is a beast of a knife. And uh, I got to put it up there in my top three of tops. This is in my top. I mean, look at this thing. It is a beast. This is, this is a Mission Team 21, man, by tops. I Now that I've held it again, this is up there, man. This is in my top. top uh, let's just call it top 10 now, but this is there. This is huge, heavy duty. And I usually don't not find a nylon, nylon uh, sheath, but th they nailed it on this one. I like it. This actually needs to be in a nylon sheath. That thing is heavy. And of course, I love this and the story behind it. This is the Topps Moccasin Ranger. Yeah, I use them. And this is one of my favorites. Uh, you got to read the story on this. Uh, it's uh, named after the, the Moccasin Ranger uh, platoon back in World War II. It was made up of uh, Cherokee Native Americans. And there's one particular guy, I can't remember his name right off, but that's the story. Uh, he actually, in the middle of the night, took out a sentry, a German sentry, at 87 feet away with a bayonet in the dark at night. He took out a sentry that needed to be taken out for them to uh, complete their mission. And it's down uh, in history as the longest knife kill. Yep, very cool story. Isaac, you're good at looking this stuff up and reading up on it. So that's the Moccasin Ranger, Isaac. Uh, tops. Uh, read up on that, because you, you're really good about all this. I haven't forgot about you. This here, folks, just came out last year and has just gone crazy. I mean, it's just nonstop sailing out. I put a drop loop on here. But this is the uh, Tops Impact Multi-Purpose Airman's Tool. It was uh, designed by James, James Brown, Seth Brown. He's a pilot. It's an unusual thin profile for tops. But yeah, this is, uh, I had this, uh, you had a chance to uh, click on in a box. I had it customized into uh, the camo and partial serrated I asked for. But yeah, that's the tops impact. And again, I got a bunch of tops, but we'll stop right there. Those are my three favorite. And of course, the uh, the one I carry, I think I got another one. I just keep going. This is the one I carried this morning in my pocket. I'm going to take this out to the playground. The top's cut 4.0. I can't help it, man. It just goes on. Okay, and then we don't want to forget. Let's see, where is it? I'm trying to find it, guys. I do like my off-grid tracker too. I like it, but the uh, Micarta snakeskin scales. This is a heavy duty knife, folks. It's a chunk of steel, and this is by off-grid. 
Okay, comes in a nice Kydex sheath. I added the striker and the drop loop. No, the drop loop came with this one, I'm sorry. Off Grid makes these drop loops. You can also get on Amazon. And surprisingly, they fit quite a bit of different brands. You can get on Amazon or Off Grid. I see where I'm really going over. We can't forget. I'll just pick this one out. Let's see, where is it? Very unplanned video. I'm sorry. I love my, uh, this is the Army version of K-Bar. And I love it. This is the one with serrations. Yeah, it's been through some use. Actually love it. Now, K-Bar, you know, everybody says that, uh, you know, what they do, they actually do make their knives for each branch. There's nothing wrong with it. I know everybody says, well, it's the K-Bar uh, USMC, but that's where it started, but they make it for every branch now. I don't think they make it for Coast Guard, though. They actually make one for the uh, United States Space Force. And uh, I kind of just leave that in the drawer. But it's the K-Bar. It's for real. It's the K-Bar. It just has the new uh, K-Bar logo on there for the Space Force. I mean, if you think about it, space, there's no use having it be in black tactical green or whatever. Okay, then my all-time favorite, I discussed it this morning, I have them right there, and uh, this is for my new buddy, my new, new Kempoa subscriber, this is it, man, this is the one I've used since 96, you can see the wear on it, and I have thrown it, I got a couple of stations in my playground where I work out with it. And it's still holding up since 1996. That's the Kempo One knife. Gil Hibben Kempo One. All right, this is a long video. I'm sorry. Uh, it might not even load up. But I got to shorten this up, pick out some favorites, and get on with the day. Y'all take care and sog out.